Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Wade's irredeemable and incorruptible are going to be adapted for Netflix to a live-action feature film. I don't know what to tell you. This doesn't sound like great news to me. Uh, mainly just because it's Netflix. And I have like a love-hate relationship with Netflix. They have produced some arguably pretty decent stuff. But then also just produced absolute trash. Uh, it's difficult. Because the thing is, if you look at the broad spectrum of content that they do produce. Largely, it's, it's actually pretty decent. Right, largely it is it is all right. Like if you're looking at the broad spectrum of stuff, but when they produce a bomb, boy howdy, it's a bomb. You know, if I'm looking at a movie studio compared to Netflix, right, and I'm looking at how many negative crap uh, a movie studio puts out, it's probably more than it is what Netflix does. It's just because Netflix puts out a larger quantity of product that it appears to be more. That's that's my, yeah, that's my sort of nice way of putting it. Um, but the problem is, is when they put out a doozy, as in, you know, a piece of crap, it's really, really bad. <sighs> and, yeah, Mark Wade's Irredeemable and Corruptible could be fantastic. But this stuff, you know, we're looking at this news here. So, it's going to be directed by uh, James Samuel. Who did the harder they fall? Uh, I mean, not, you know, not incredible in terms of directing. Uh, and Kemp Powers uh, as a writer. Again, not absolutely outstanding stuff. Not terrible. But you're not going to look at that and go, yeah, let's do it. So let's take a look at this report, right? So Boom Studios. I love Boom Studios. I think Boom... Boom Studios or Boom Comics have been doing some amazing stuff. And uh, and I really like the fact that they're going into movies and things now. Um, a movie which I recommended here on the channel, which was uh, The Empty Man, which I know not a lot of people like. Or a lot of people think, well, it started out with promise and then it descended into nonsense. They should have just kept the stuff at the start. Uh, you know, I really like that movie. I think it's good. I strongly recommend it. Um... You know, that's a Boom Studios thing. It's Boom Comics. So it's good to see them moving into movies now. But don't know, they've announced that Netflix is developing the irredeemable and incorruptible as one singular movie. All right, that's a live action movie. So it's not going to be uh, an Invincible type series like we have on Amazon. And FYI, when we go through this, if you don't know what irredeemable and incorruptible is, you will see some comparisons to Invincible through this. You will. Now, the Harder They Fall director, James Samuel, he's going to be directing. Now, the screenwriter is Kemp Powers, the guy who did Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Sure. <laughs> Not someone you'd, you'd want for what should be, you know, quite a... Quite a mature, I guess. Um... Comic adaptation, but never mind. <laughs> Again, you can start to see the sort of red flags coming through. Now, the movie will feature the protagonists from each series. One a villain on a quest to become a superhero. And the other a fallen hero turned villain as they face off. Now, just, again, comparisons to Invincible. You will see them. When the world's most powerful and beloved superhero, the godlike Plutonian inexplicably begins slaughtering everyone on Earth. The only person that can stop him is his former arch nemesis, the superpowered villain Max Damage. Epic names, love it. Unwillingly thrust into the role of saviour, Max must uncover the Plutonian's mysterious past, again, invincible-like, to discover how to bring him down. But can he discover what made the Plutonian go crazy before his own degenerative superpowers cause him to lose his mind? Yeah. I, I, I don't know whether this is good or bad. I mean, this article notes, you know, Jupiter's legacy. Um, saying that obviously made a lot of people doubt Netflix's ability to do superhero stuff. 
But that was a series. Um, this is a movie. So, you know, it, it has an awful lot of potential. As a movie, though, are they biting off a bit, you know, a, a, a bit more than they can chew? There is the potential that they're doing that. There definitely is the potential. Now, they said that there's currently no word on castings or the movie's release date. We don't even have a title. Uh, but this is positive. Now, you know, it's been discussed for ages. And this this came from Boom. I mean, it came from Boom Studios, basically. So, it is a semi, a, a quasi-official announcement. But I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking to myself, well... You know, I hope this falls on the better side of Netflix quality rather than the, you know, the 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 bad side of Netflix quality. Boom Studios, if they, right, if they are working on it in, in conjunction with Netflix, then, yeah, I've got a bit more confidence in this. And why do I say that? Well... You know, Boom Studios, whatever work they did on uh, The Empty Man, you know, for whatever part they had in that, that was really decent. I think they did a very, very, very good job. So, if they're working in conjunction with Netflix, yeah, positive. Really positive. And it's nice to see another comic book studio, you know, another comic book moving into adapting their works you know marvel and dc sure whatever fine you want to keep sucking their d no worries but i'd love to see more and hopefully this would allow dark horse to do stuff maybe top cow could do more stuff maybe even 2000 ad will pull their fingers out their bloody arsehole and start doing stuff because god knows they've announced things that they've never bothered to make so yeah good more comic book studios finally making more stuff Yes, good, let's do it. It at least makes the other companies that have had essentially the monopoly on the industry in terms of adaptations, maybe it will make them think twice about the, the route they go down. So there you go, positive and negative, you decide. Let me know down below. Take care.